We've been <laughs> expecting <laughs> you. Expecting you. <laughs> What's up? It's Ophelia here. Summer started a few weeks ago, and to start off my summer, I decided to paint a mural of the Panakage tree on my wall. Before we get into the speed art, I want to make it clear that I am not a professional. This was the first mural I had ever painted, and it's also probably the biggest thing I've ever painted. Do not take anything that I do as law, because it is not. I would recommend if you're wanting to do a similar mural or just are wanting to get into wall painting yourself, do a lot of research and ask questions. You want to be as informed as possible because this is something that's going on your wall. It takes a long time and oftentimes it's pretty expensive. So you want to make it turn out as good as possible. There are basically three steps that I took when I painted this mural. The first one was sketching my concept art onto the wall via projector. Unfortunately, I don't have this footage, but basically I was just penciling out the basic shapes I wanted onto the wall. The second step was blocking in all of the color, and the third step was putting in detail. Something I'll add, before I started painting, I primed my wall. You guys will see me start painting on a white wall as opposed to a brown wall, which is what color my other walls are. And that's because I've primed it first. I put a layer of primer down. All right, without any further ado, let's get into the speed art. It took about 15 hours of work to make this from start to finish, and that's leaving out the time priming, taping, brush cleaning, and shopping for everything I needed. All of that culminated to about a two week span of time. I decided not to give Sophie eyes early on. I think it would have distracted from the rest of the artwork. And it's easier not to paint detailed eyes. Win-win in my book. Painting the leaves on the Panakage tree was difficult. It was hard putting something so detailed, color-changing leaves into a painting that I thought was going to be relatively simple. You see me go back and change things a lot. I knew that this was going to be the centerpiece of the painting and it had to look nice. In the end, I'm really happy with how it turned out. the clouds. They were so fun to do. So big and fluffy. You'll see me paint over a few of the clouds at the top. I thought they made the drawing cramped and busy, and I'm glad that I did cover them. It gives your eyes a place to rest from the millions of flowers in the big tree. The millions of flowers will come in later, trust me. Oh, the mountains. They were hard. My weakness is mountains. 
I have a hard time getting all the highlights and shadows in the right places to make them look adequately 3D. I think I did okay in the end. What do you guys think? It was around the time I put the highlights on the Panakes tree that my vision started to really change. Originally, I thought the painting would be simple. Slap the colors on and you're done. But of course, my detail-oriented brain had other plans. That's why you seasoned acrylic painters will see me trying to poorly compensate for not putting down on my darks first. Lesson learned, I hope. If I had just stopped at putting in the base colors and the highlights on the tree, I think it would have turned out really boring and dull. Putting in all that detailed work really breathes life into the painting, and when you see it in person, it almost looks like a window into another world. It's really cool. Here's where the millions of flowers come into play. And in case you're wondering, putting in all of those flowers was exactly as tedious as it looks. <laughs> you just come in! <laughs> not gonna film that though. <laughs> So, there it is! For this being my first mural, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I ended up moving everything in my room around just so that there is a better view of the wall when you walk in. And I guess to give you guys kind of an idea of where it is, that right there, that's the door to my room. So when you walk into my room, the first thing you see is the big mural. It's so big and I love it so much. If you guys have any questions as to what paint I used or where I went to get my paint, techniques, brushes, even like tipping your wall or what to cover your carpet with, any sort of questions, leave them down in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. Like I said before, I am no professional so don't take my word as law but 
having experience painting an actual mural, I do have some first-hand experience that I can offer you guys. That's going to be all for me from now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and keep her out.